I have an odd relationship with doctors. Most of the time I'm a good boy and I just agree to whatever they say and that usually works out. But every now and again I put my foot down and say no. Sorry, that's the way it goes. This all began, this attitude began because when I was five years old I broke my leg and I had my whole leg in a cast and a while later when the cast was going to come off my mother said to my grandfather who was not a doctor, he was a furrier, uh, Papa the doctor says that when we take the cast off David's leg uh, he should probably wear a special shoe and my granddad took a drag of his players playing cigarette and thought about this for a moment he said well, you know, I think if David wears a special shoe, he might grow a special foot. <laughs> so uh, that did not come to pass either. So that attitude has sort of informed uh, me and doctors ever since. Now, I could tell you 20 of these funny stories, but one of them uh, is, uh, I don't know, a dozen years ago, uh, my family doctor said that I was suffering from hyperparathyroidism and I should go see this endocrinologist. So I went to see the guy and uh, he did another blood test and he said, yes, that's true, you have hyperparathyroidism and um, I want you to go across the street to the hospital and see Dr. Schultz. And I said, yeah, what will Dr. Schultz do? Well, he'll do the operation. I said, excuse me, which operation? Well, he'll cut open your throat inviting idea, right? And he'll find uh, four of these parathyroid glands and one of them will have a problem. Uh, it won't be malignant, they're never malignant, it'll just be benign, but he'll cut it out and then everything will be the same. Afterwards you'll be fine. I said, fine what? What are you talking about? So I said, look, Doc, I'm one of these annoying guys who likes to know what's happening to me. So I went to the library and I looked up this subject and I learned two things which I'd like to share with you and see if you agree. And he said, yeah, okay, what's that? I said, number one, <clears throat> we don't really know what the parathyroid glands do, do we? He said, that's true, we don't. I said, nice, okay. Secondly, the symptoms of hyperparathyroidism can be brought about by aluminum toxicity. Is that not correct? He said, yes, it can. I said, well, I chew two Gaviscon tablets every night before I go to bed because of acid reflex, and Gaviscon's loaded with aluminum. As it happens, the next day, Gaviscon took the aluminum out of this uh, uh, formula, and I stopped taking it anyways because my stomach was fine. But uh, uh, the doctor said, yeah, well, okay. I said, what's the alternative to cutting my throat? And he said, well, watchful waiting. And I said, aha, you see, there's a phrase that a neurotic middle-aged Jewish man can embrace, watchful waiting. Uh, so uh, that <laughs> that's me. Pickle, you have the right, and I believe it is your duty, in fact, to be an intelligent patient who wants to know what's what.